So, welcome ladies and gentlemen to this predictive analysis video. So today we'll be looking at uh, what is going on in the markets and what we should expect in the week ahead or say in the month ahead. By the way, forgive me for not making a video. Um, I have been doing some research on self frame cryptocurrency and uh, I think it could have some serious potential. So I am doing um, some research on it right now and when I'm done with that I will make a video about it here on the channel so stay tuned for that um, I would also like to make you know that I am NOT a financial advisor so if I cover any cryptocurrency here it does not mean that you should go and invest in it it is just for educational purposes only so if I talk about a cryptocurrency here it is um, within your rights to take that as just education and go and do some further research if at all you will need it anyway let's jump right into what is going on with bitcoin right here so for the past couple of weeks i've been saying that what is happening right here is kind of the same thing that happened here now when i look at these charts uh keep in mind we are on the weekly time frame so this is this week so when i look at the charts right here it tells me a story that may be a problem now you guys know that i like to be as objective as possible with my analysis i don't just say that this will go up this will go down and uh, that's it no i am invested in this market so when i say that it is going down it's not like i'm actually praying that it should go down it is just because that is what say the charts are telling me so what I see here is Bitcoin going up on an ascending triangle right here that is if you zoom out and you're looking at it from this perspective that is what you're going to see you will see an ascending triangle that goes like so so this will continue to bounce off like this and maybe blast off from here now I say maybe because it is not completely certain that this goes up it may as well go down so that's the first thing that we can see when we look at the charts like say from a distant perspective uh, when you also look at this right here you will see that the charts are telling us that Bitcoin may as well go like this and like this and form a double top on the weekly time frame and come down to this and so we get to see bitcoin at twelve thousand or even ten thousand dollars that will be pretty bad yeah so that's also something that we should be considering because this is exactly the reason why we always say don't invest what you are not willing to lose because the markets can turn around like this at any moment now there is a lot of panic now in the markets and I know that when the market is fearful you should be greedy and when the market is greedy you should be fearful so if the market is fearful right now if everyone is say afraid of their investment of losing it all that is the time we here at understanding crypto should be greedy which means these markets can literally turn around at any moment and go up here is what i mean by that uh if you look here if you look right here you will see that uh this was the last stop yeah so uh, on this last stop right here we had a bearish engulfing pattern here now that brought down the price to here about here and we had a bullish candle go back up but that only led to another bearish engulfing pattern here this brought down the price here and if we zoom into this just i'm just leaving this here so that you can uh, see it clearly but if you zoom into this you will see a movement a price movement like so so this was a falling wedge right here yeah so that's the story that the, the charts are telling us this was a falling wedge right here i think i said this in my last uh tutorial or my last predictive analysis video 
this was a falling wedge right here that led to another ascending wedge here now this ascending wedge is bigger which means the impact of it if it breaks to the downside which is what mostly happens with ascending wedges will be greater than what happened with the falling wedge here if it is not reversed all right if it is not reversed now when you look at this going up right here it means that the widest opening of the ascending wedge the widest opening of the ascending wedge is how far the price will go down if it breaks to the downside now we see that this ascending wedge did broke to the downside right here so this candle closing out of the ascending wedge is uh, the ascending wedge breaking to the downside but then the ascending wedge as it breaks down or as it breaks to the downside it has a bullish engulfing pattern now breaking to the downside was a confirmation that we will have price going down like going really really down yeah but we had a bullish engulfing pattern right here just as it broke out remember this is the weekly time frame so uh i like looking at these kinds of patterns from the higher time frame so that it gives you a general perspective of what has been happening and what is going to happen uh higher time frames are very or say are mostly uh close to being perfect than lower time frames when you're looking at the charts from lower time frames it may cause a lot of panic and your emotions may kick in and you start to look at things differently but when we look at them from the higher time frames it gives us um it tells us a lot about the markets yeah so when we see here we see that a bullish engulfing pattern from right here on the weekly time frame if you look here if you look here this was also a bullish engulfing pattern right here so we have this giant red candle a green candle and a dump now this dump uh is opposite to what the bullish engulfing pattern is indicating so after a bullish engulfing pattern the price is supposed to go up that is why it is called a bullish engulfing pattern but after that we had a dump then a rally so this right here is also a bullish engulfing pattern and after this we are having the dump now this is similar to the dump we had right here yeah now remember around here many people were thinking that this was going to go back down to this so this right here around this times and this is always fascinating to me that when this is happening you will hear a lot of news and people are saying how evergrande is doing this how inflation is doing this how uh, the virus is doing this all of this thought in the markets starts to rise up as you see the candles going red when they start to go green you see you, you you start to hear about all sorts of say good news on media so it is really fascinating to me that we can have a bearish i'll uh, say yeah a bearish engulfing pattern right here and down here which is like two weeks later you are hearing some news that will only push the market to go further down so this right here kind of predicts what will happen in the future this to me is is um i don't know you know like homa monayisa really did his job by giving us these candlesticks so anyway what i am seeing here is this right here playing out like this right here and if i am correct if i am correct with what i am seeing or what i think uh is happening here then we should start to have a rally next week now this rally next week will start with uh with a dump this is saying or this is uh this is me seeing it exactly how it happened here you see this candle right here has a week to the downside here so this candle here 
let me pull it here so that you can see this candle has a week right here which means the candle the price started here market opened here uh in on this uh, week and came right down here buyers came in pushed the price right up to here sellers came in pushed the price down here but overall it was a bullish week yeah and the next candle follows so if i am correct then we should have a rally next week however there are some problems um there are some things that i think could prevent this the first is if we close this week if we close this week uh below this moving average right here uh, that will be a problem that will be a problem because this candle right here did not close below the moving average if we close this week below this moving average and this moving average is a great zone of support if we close below it to close above it will become a problem because closing below it means we have gone below the zone of support so the next week will open below the moving average so the moving average will become a zone of resistance so if we close this week below this moving average that will be a problem however it could also happen that we close below it and it turns out to be some kind of fake out but that is what i think could be the problem now since we broke the ascending triangle going up here since we broke it here and closed uh, outside of it that brings us to a price target of thirty seven thousand six hundred and sixty three dollars that brings us to that price target and from the way i see it if we have to play it extremely safe or say if bitcoin has to play it extremely safe then we should see this figure um this thirty seven thousand six hundred if we actually see this figure this week and go and close above this moving average then to me i have confirmed that bitcoin has seen its bottom so far as it does not come to visit this figure i remain skeptical i remain skeptical of uh what is going to happen in the market i remain skeptical if we don't come right down to this figure to this thirty seven thousand dollars except the only thing that could be convincing enough to me that uh this that we will not see this figure is if this candle or the, the candle after it goes and closes above this line right here which means we broke out of this ascending wedge and we came and closed inside of it so that is what could be convincing to me that we will not see that price target of uh, thirty seven thousand dollars but as from the way I see it, we should close, we should uh, at least reach this price target. That's the way I see it. And uh, it is because of this ascending wedge right here, this large ascending wedge. You may have noticed that I am the only one on YouTube talking about an ascending wedge right here. I've not seen any other person. Perhaps there is someone out there talking about the same thing, but I have not seen any other person saying that this was an ascending wedge this to me looks like an ascending wedge and you can also see here that the volume was decreasing as we went up in price the volume started to decrease here so this the weakness was here and we broke down here so that's exactly what we are seeing overall i think we are still in a bullish market we are still in a bullish trend but that's the problem here now the next problem that I think we should be on the lookout for, now I say all of this because if this problem that I'm about to say actually turns out to be true, then we are in a lot of trouble. Then we may as well be going into the bear market. Yeah, I say this knowing that some people will freak out, but don't be because this right here could have also been considered the bear market and we broke out of it this right here is the monthly time frame you can see here that this month this was october this was november so october and november formed a bearish engulfing pattern which is very bad 
and this right here is April and March. So April and March formed a bearish engulfing pattern, which is also very bad. Now you see that the month of May had the repercussions of what happened in March and April. This right here was uh, the coronavirus. So this is the crash that we faced here. And we had this crash right here. And this right here is the falling wedge that we were just talking about in the weekly time frame. So this is how the falling wedge appears on the monthly time frame. So after that falling wedge, we had a rally, which I call an ascending wedge. Now that ascending wedge broke. You can see clearly that on the monthly, we have the month of December still outside of the ascending wedge. So according to the way I see it, if we don't close inside of this ascending wedge and we still close inside of the ascending triangle, then that will not be a huge problem. However, if we do close outside of this ascending triangle, then we have a serious problem. It could be, anyway, that we close outside of this ascending triangle and mimic the same thing that happened here in June, in January, here. So, to put this all in a way we can all understand, the weekly time frames suggest that we may have some sort of rally next week yeah so this is the weekly time frame and it does suggest that we may have a rally next week that is if we are mimicking what happened here so we may have a rally that looks like this and in the monthly time frame it is saying a different story well that is because we have not closed on the monthly time frame yet but the story it is telling us is we don't have to close outside of this ascending triangle. That's the support zone of the ascending triangle. We don't have to close outside of it. If we do close outside of it, then we may continue to go down or we can also form something like this, like a spinning top in January. So in January, we may see some sort of falling wedge also. What do I think will happen? Now, I think since we are still like mid-month, uh, we have enough time for the crash to persist until about $37,000 as I was talking about. And we come back right up here and close inside of this uh, ascending triangle. Why do I think we will come back to close inside of this? Because on the monthly time frame, you can clearly see that we have been going up and down of this ascending triangle. This means we are creating higher lows. Yeah, we are creating higher lows. So this is a, a, a higher low from this one. This is another higher low from this one. This is another higher low from this one. This means that people are willing to buy Bitcoin each time it crashes which means we will end up breaking this resistance right here. We blast off. We have, say, maybe a blow off top, and then we crash into the bear market. So my theory is, if we have a deeper crash this week to the 30s, that will be a good thing. Because that will indicate that before the end of the month, this candle would have closed inside of the ascending triangle to confirm our higher lows of uh, the general monthly trend so this trend that we are seeing right here is so that we can rally somewhere here now that will take a whole lot of time but it could happen at any moment we could as well rally from here or from here or we could also go down from here to maybe 10,000 who knows but this is my theory the further down we come inside this week to me it is a confirmation that we will rally many people out there think that this is it we are going to the bear market but I don't believe that I don't I remain very skeptical of uh, 
us going into the bear market now. Like, there has not been any rush. There needs to be a rush of people FOMOing into uh, the market and the market eventually crashing with, say, some people in it. But there has not been that rush. So, it can't be that every investor that invested in the markets is crashing the market. Uh, without any significant gains so this is just my theory I just think uh, we have to close this candle within the ascending triangle that is before the end of the month so actually I am hoping that we have that deeper crash anytime soon the sooner we have it the better for us if we don't have it and instead close this month of December outside of this candle, then we have a huge problem. The probability of us in January farming something like this is very slim. Most investors are convinced that we will go into the bear market ultimately. And if we do farm a lower low right here, if we farm a lower low, that will be a problem because it will convince many people that we are in the bear market and so many people will start selling. That will crush the price of the crypto markets and we will eventually really go into the bear market. So we will see a death cross and that will be it. All right, so that is what I am thinking. I just wanted to make a video and tell you what my thoughts are. I've been having a lot of DMs on Instagram on what my thoughts are on the markets. Uh, I really hope that we do follow what I am seeing here on the weekly. If we do follow it, then perhaps we don't really have to crash that severely. Uh, if we do follow what I am thinking, then this week we should see Bitcoin's bottom this week. If that does happen, then I think we could have a consolidation here and blast off. Or perhaps we could just as well follow what we see exactly here and we go to torch, uh, say, the, the all-time highs right here or this resistant, this new resistant line right here. So that's what my thought is. I would like to hear what you think is going on, what you think is going to happen, um, how you intend to uh, invest in this volatile markets, and what your thoughts are long term for Bitcoin and the entire crypto markets. If you did enjoy this video, if you did like it or learn anything, give it a thumbs up and uh, remember to subscribe if you aren't. Uh, I will see you in my next video when I am uh, done with my research on self frame. Self frame could really be a very promising project. Um, it is risky, but it could be extremely promising given the problems that we may have, say, crypto may have with uh, quantum computing. So, see you in the next video. Stay safe, guys.